don't have the same shoulder mobility that you used to. Maybe it's a little harder reaching behind your back or overhead or out in the back seat of the car, anything like that. Maybe you just feel more tension through your shoulders. That's a very common thing that happens as we go through life. Our shoulders move in more directions than any other joint. They are just much more complicated than anything else. And if we don't use some of those movements, guess what? We lose them. And they just get tighter and tighter because our shoulders get more and more use. So in this video, I'm going to show you the trick to unlocking some hidden mobility to the shoulder that maybe you have lost over the years or you never knew that you had. My name is Rob Drenning. I'm a physical therapist. We are about to go through those, but I want to tell you the key right now. The key is getting mobility in your shoulder back, not flexibility. We did another video on the difference, but basically mobility is active. So all of these exercises are active exercises. It's not pulling your arm across your body, stretching your pec in the doorway. Those might be okay, but it doesn't mean holding it here is gonna allow you to reach farther behind your back. The exercises that will do that have to be active. They might even feel a little bit strenuous, almost like you work out afterwards because you're using your muscles in ranges that you haven't before, but that is how you unlock the mobility to get the gains during your day-to-day -day life. It doesn't matter if you stretch your pec in the doorway, if you can't use those muscles to reach farther behind you. Right now, I'm gonna show you how to do these active exercises, but please keep in mind, they should all be pain-free in your shoulder. You can get what's called impingement where the tendons get irritated because the shoulder is such a complicated joint. If any of these are painful, do not do them. Your goal for all of them is gonna be 15 to 20 reps or so and doing them once a day. And you can test the motions that you feel are stiff, go through them, and as you repeat them a little bit, retest some of those motions and see if you feel like it's helping. But now let's go get into those exercises that I'm gonna show you right now. This exercise is called a wall angel. It's an active exercise and always remember if it hurts your shoulder, do not do it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand against a wall. You need a clear space where your butt, your tailbone, and your shoulder blades can be resting against the wall. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your elbows out at right about shoulder height like that, okay? The first movement we're gonna do is with your elbows there, you're gonna rotate your hands back to the wall. Try and get your hands to touch the wall. That might even be an effort for you. If it's, you're feeling like you're pushing off the wall, walk your feet out a little bit so your butt and your shoulder blades are both resting on it. So you're gonna rotate like that and push back into the wall. As long as it's pain-free, you push as hard as you want. The more active, the better. If this is stiff to you, you're gonna do that a few times, maybe 10 or 15 times. If you can nail that right away, then you're gonna go right into the angel motion. So you're gonna rotate back, pressure into the wall and go up into that angel. Oh, and that's stiff. Now remember, you want your tailbone, your butt, to stay against the wall too. When I'm in that position, if I let my tailbone up, I can get my arms up pretty high and I don't feel much. If I keep my butt and my shoulder blades resting on the wall, I'm gonna rotate up and then I'm gonna go into that angel motion. That's where I feel that tightness and then I'm gonna come right back down. And I'm just gonna stay in this position and repeat that angel motion, pushing up into that range as hard as I can. Remember, it should be comfortable, not painful, but you have to fight to keep your hips resting against the wall too. They're gonna wanna pop right off. But this is gonna do a lot to extend that mid back and the shoulder blade region too. You'll come off of this and feel even some tension like it's a lot of effort. But all of these combined are gonna unlock a lot of active shoulder motion it's really gonna help you when you're looking to reach up or reach out to the side with this one. You're gonna do that about 20 to 30 repetitions, but you might need to rest after about 10 or so, because these are not easy passive stretches. They're active because that's how our muscles and joints function, and that's how we're gonna train them to work. 20 to 30 reps, resting as you need to, that's how you do the wall angel. This exercise is called the handcuff exercise or the reverse wall angel. You'll see why in a minute. But you're going to be in the same position as the wall angel. Your tailbone, your hips resting on the wall, your shoulder blades resting on the wall, and your elbows are going to start out at shoulder height. Then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate your hands downward this time, keeping your 
hips and your tailbone both against the wall. If you need to walk out to your feet to lean back on it a little bit more, please do that. But your goal is try not to let your elbows drop down. Keep your elbows up for now. It's okay if they go down a little bit. You're gonna push down into that. It's a lot tighter than when we go the other way. You're gonna push down. If this is painful, do not do this one. I'm pushing my muscles down. And then I'm gonna try to slide my hands behind my back, keeping uh, my tailbone and my shoulders against the wall. And then I'm gonna push my shoulders back into the wall, actively using my muscles, essentially kind of squeezing the shoulder blades together. When you do that, you'll feel tightness in the shoulder and elbow region most of the time. I kind of feel my hands pushing into my low back right now. If you're in this position and you're going down and you can't get your hands behind your low back, if you need to lean your shoulders off first, go ahead, get your hands behind your low back and then start to lean back. And then you're gonna push the muscles just like that, letting your hands push into your low back, squeezing my shoulders back into the wall. I'm gonna do about 15 to 20 of each of those, starting with 15 to 20 of just those, and then bring my hands down, 15 to 20 squeezes back into the wall. Don't do it if it's painful, but that is how you do the handcuff exercise to help with reaching behind your back, a motion that we oftentimes get stuck with. This exercise is called a wall slide. It's gonna really help with a lot of that overhead mobility, reaching up for objects, things like that. What I have here is a loop resistance band. You can order these online. Uh, if you have resistance bands, great. <clears throat> if not, you don't need it. You can just use a dish towel. It doesn't necessarily have to be stretchy. You just need something to pull into. I'll show you why here in just a minute. The classic way to do the wall slide is just to slide your arm up the wall and, and lean into it to stretch like that. But we already talked about how our shoulders are gonna learn to use more motion if we do things harder and more actively make it more mobility versus flexibility. That's what we're really gonna to need to help with our reaching overhead, and that's where the band comes in. So I'm gonna show you this way. I'm gonna put it around my wrists, and I'm just gonna add a little tension. And then what we wanna do is I'm gonna slide my hands up the wall, and then lean into it to get some stretch. So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna turn my back to you to show you. I'm gonna put my hands about shoulder height, and I'm gonna push out into the band. So I have some tension on the band now. In a karate chop position, I'm gonna slide my hands up the wall, and then I'm gonna lean my chest towards the wall while I continue to reach higher and higher for the ceiling. And then I'm gonna come back down just like that. If you just have a dish towel, hold a dish towel and pull into it and hold that pressure while you're sliding your arms up, and then lean into it and continue to reach towards the ceiling. I don't want that to be painful at end range. None of these should hurt your shoulders. These are for healthy shoulders, and the design is to increase that overhead motion. You're gonna repeat that about 20 times is your goal with this one. Tension in the band, sliding up the wall, karate chop position. Lead your body into it to get that extra stretch, and let your hand continue to go up towards the ceiling. So you end up almost going out in a Y position. That's how you do the resisted wall slide to help turn on those muscles to get that overhead reach going. This exercise is called thread the needle. It involves a lot of rotation through our ribs and our mid back, something that's extremely important when we're talking about shoulder mobility, especially reaching behind you, reaching back seats of the car, things like that. So let me show you how to do that now. You're gonna go on your hands and knees. If you can't be kneeling, you can do the same thing, just leaning against the counter and do the same motions I'm gonna show you. If you can get on your hands and knees, that's preferable because it's gonna be a little bit harder. So what you're gonna do is on your hands and knees, let's say I'm doing my right side first, but obviously we're gonna to wanna to do both. So I'm gonna reach underneath and twist, reach across as far as I can. I'm looking at my hand with my eyes. And then I'm gonna come up and reach up toward the ceiling as far as I can. And I'm looking with my eyes the whole time. I'm pulling with my shoulder and looking with my neck to get as far as I can. I'm gonna reach back under and through. And I'm pushing up. The goal is to go as far as you can both ways. As with all of these, none of this should be painful. It's working in a different plane of motion 
than we haven't gotten with some of the other exercises, but your rep target is about the same, about 20 repetitions. That's how you do the thread the needle exercise to work on rotation. And obviously you wanna do both arms as well with that one to keep things nice and even.